we can prove that all the Quran from Shaitan. Let me ask you, who is the one who deceived people, Shaitan or God? Shaitan. If what if I show you that Allah is the one He deceived, not not Shaitan. Allah is the one He deceived. No, that cannot be. Okay. What the word deceive in Arabic? Do you know? You tell? Uh, not sure. Yeah, the sure. like Quran says that Shaitan he make you he deceive you, correct? You 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 hmm? This is the word. Yeah. Here we go. ويريد الشيطان أن يضلهم ضلالا بعيدا. This is the word you tell. You see it? He will go in front of you. All right. Yeah. But the verse after it, this is chapter 4, verse number 60. Chapter 4, verse number 60, it says, The one who will deceive you is shaitan. And I'm going to zoom in the word again so you can see it. The same chapter saying that the one who deceives is Allah. Chapter 4, verse number 88. It says, Can you put this in English so you can see it? Yeah, you know, Please. in English, here we go. I'm showing you your English translation, your Muslim translation, not mine. Allah, he said to Muhammad, are you going to try to guide the hypocrite? Allah has Who's cast them. Hold on. Who is the one who cast them in disbelief? Allah. And then he can continue saying, because of what they earned. Okay, what they earned. You are the one who cast them. Do you want to guide him who had Allah had made him go astray? What astray mean in English? Uh, go away from the straight path. Exactly. Who is the one who make, made them go away from the straight path? Uh, God has done this. Allah. Same thing. This is the same thing in Christianity also. No, no. Jesus, yeah, no, yeah, in Christianity, for, example, for God, he loved the world. No, for God, he loved the world. God, the Father, he sent his only begotten son to help us, to guide us, not to deceive us, to save us. That's why we call him the Savior. Your religion says Correct. that the one who cast the one who disbelieve out is Allah, the verse in the front of you. Yeah, but but in the in the, in the gospel also in the book of uh, I think one of the my friend you do not know your religion how you want to teach me my religion. how you want to teach me my book do you know your book here we go you are in this ability no I'm talking about no I'm telling you we don't have any Christianity no we don't have such a thing God God is our Father that's why we pray for him we we call him our Father our Father in heaven why because he loves us is not the one who deceive us so here. Who is the one who made somebody disbelieve? I ask you, who is the one who made people disbelieve? You said Shaitan. Correct? You agreed. Didn't you agree? Yes. You said Shaitan? Yes. Okay. Now read with me. Who is the one who cast people in disbelief? Allah. No. See, the thing here, the point, there's a point here. In this. It says, do you want to guide him whom Allah had made? to go astray okay so this is the same similarity which you have in christianity also which says that only god has already chosen whoever is going to go to heaven is already chosen. no my friend this is not you about no 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 you, right you, to... don't explain my book for me don't explain my book for me when god he says he's a chosen people he said come to me knock at my door i will open for you the chosen one is the one who they come willingly not him forcing them come to me knock at my door and i will open for you Jesus said, whoever believe in me and die will live. So you believe those are the chosen ones. So the chosen one who chose me, not only I choose them. I, I don't have so the verses. It's ready not up to you. To I know the you, verses, my friend. This is my, this is my Lord. I will send you. This is I will my, send don't you send me. You don't need to verses. send me. I know what I'm talking about. So I choose them for they choose me. Whoever believe in me, Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So those I, I choose is the one who Correct. chose me. Those who I choose is the one who chose to follow me. Those who I choose, which means my choice is their choice. It's willingly. So in Islam, no. In Islam here, and there we are talking about guidance, not the opposite. Here we are talking about the one who went in disbelief. Why they are in disbelief? Because Allah made them disbelievers. Not shaitan. So Allah is shaitan. Why those people, they are hypocrite? Allah made them hypocrite.
Why people lie? Because Allah made them lie. When you do fornication, is that a choice you do or Allah force you to do fornication? It's a choice you make. I'm asking you, when you do fornication, if somebody, I'm not trying to insult you, but I'm just conversation. If a human being do fornicate, do he choose to do fornication or Allah force him to fornicate? No, it's the it's the it's the sin in a man who forces him to do it. It is Satan. It's not God. It is Satan, not God. Are you sure? No, every everybody has that sinful nature in them. So no, no, no. This is not a question. I wanna, it, let's make, make it simple. Who is the one okay. who tried to make you fornicate? Is it Allah or Shaitan? Neither. Neither. It's not Allah. It's not Satan. Yeah, neither. It's okay. the sinful nature of a human being which makes you do that. But isn't it sin from Shaitan? It is. Yeah, sin is from Satan. Of okay, course. is fornication sin in Islam? Yes, of course it is. Sin. Okay, so, so fornication is from Shaitan, then, correct? Fornication is from Satan. Yes. All right. But your prophet says no. It's from Allah. And read with me. He does. Your prophet says it is from Allah. Here we go, and this is Sahih Hadith. Yeah, but our Prophet also told the people Don't not tell to me write also, down A second ago, you said to me it's from Shaitan, and you agreed. And now the Hadith says, "Read carefully, read." I'm listening. Yeah, you know, Sita, I have raised this in my mosque. Can you my, read, my friend? Uh, my friend just read from he it. told me, my friend. Don't tell me what. Read it first, and tell me what what Sheikh told you. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I know this one. I have raised this one with the Sheikh and they what they told so me. So why you don't want to tell why you don't want to uh, why you don't want to read it? Does it say Okay? Really Allah has okay. uh, fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in hmm. and which he of necessity must commit. Hmm. The adultery of the eye is a lustful look, and the adultery of the tongue is a licentious speech. The heart desires and earns, which the part may not be put into effect. All right. Now tell me what your Sheikh said about it. Go ahead. Well, he said that, you know, the, there are a lot of uh, people who were against the Muslims who made all these type of hadiths. Uh, so now... This is what he told Okay, me. so now those are hadith made by the one who's against the Muslims. Yes, well, mainly he said but who is the one who wrote the book? It's Sahih Muslim. The guy, his name is Muslim. He is the most highest scholar in Islam for hadith. This is yes, very authentic. This is hadith. very authentic yes. hadith. And now you Muslim claiming that this hadith is written by the enemy of Allah, written by a Christian prince. Yeah, no, no, not you. But uh, this no, me. I am enemy you. of Allah. I don't, I, this uh, Allah is shaitan for me. I, I am his enemy. He announced it. I don't I don't hide it I'm not a coward so you are saying to me that this is not what your prophet said the sheikh he told you that this is written by the enemy of Allah so you Muslims are the enemy of Allah because you you said to me you are a Muslim Sunni every Muslim Sunni no, not, not all not all the hadith all these hadith which are going against the my prophet, friend this is Sahih Muslim these are all okay like, uh, uh, okay the Quran written written by who Quran written by you mean the physical book? Yeah, the book, the book. I mean the Quran is coming from who? From Allah, right? So a Quran is coming from from uh, Allah Taala. All right. Is the Quran preserved or uh, the the enemy of Allah? They put verses there too. Uh, when you say Quran is preserved, what do you what, you mean the book or you mean the, the Quran, Quran? The Quran, the whole Sour. I don't care about the book, the Quran, the recitation of the Quran, the verses of the Quran, whatever the word of Allah is it preserved or not? Yeah, the word of Allah is the word of Allah is eternal. That okay, nobody can. Does uh, the Quran say is 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 sin is a bad thing or a good thing? Uh, sin. Hmm. Is it a bad thing or a good thing? No, sin is a bad thing in any okay. religion. And is, in bad Muslim, things, sin is a bad is thing. Is a bad thing happen to you as a destiny from Allah or destiny from shaitan? 
No, bad things. Is, no, I'm getting confused here. Sorry. Let me just make this clear. Okay, bad things. Bad things is bad things as a, as a destiny from Allah or destiny from Shaitan. Yeah, but uh, you're talking about the bad things which I do or the bad things which happen. Doesn't to matter. Me. Anything happen to you or you do because bad things you do to others are bad things happen to others too. Bad things is a destiny made by Allah or made by Shaitan. Bad things is a destiny made by Shaitan. Uh, so why the Quran says bad things is from Allah? It does. Yeah. It says that. Oh it yeah. That. Oh yeah. All bad things is from Allah. Chapter sixty-four, verse number eleven. Sorry, which one? Chapter sixty-four, verse number eleven. Sixty-four, eleven. No calamity befalls, but with the leave of Allah and whoever so believes in Allah, He guides His heart. And the decision of Qadr. Qadr means destiny. No calamity befalls, but with the leave uh, decision. No, that's in the bracket, isn't it? Doesn't matter. This is destiny. Do you, do this is the, the destiny. No problem. Okay. Can you put Mohammed Biktal if you don't mind? Okay, Biktal, no problem. Here we go. We go to Biktal. Let us see Biktar, Muhammad Biktar. Here we go. I feel he is more honest at least. No problem. Here we go. the rest of the translations. Okay. Read it. It's still the same. It didn't change yet. Okay, it's changing now. Biktar. Yeah. No calamity be followed save by Allah's leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about a calamity here. They're not talking about sin, is it? You know, all those are bad, the bad things. But calamity here is musiba. Yeah, I asked you, do you remember I asked you, is, is, is sin is bad thing? You said yes. Yeah, but this is calamity is different from sin. The okay, sin you see, you, you, you want to, uh, right? okay, you want to say, I don't know, I, I don't know how honest you are, but I will go with you. When somebody, I just showed you, the prophet says, when you do fornicate, Allah he made decision for you to fornicate when Adam he commits sin did he choose to commit sin against Allah or it was Allah destiny which is calamity do you hear me yes yes I'm just uh... okay Adam commits sin yes did he commit sin yes as a predestiny calamity from Allah which is a sin decide for him to do or he choose to do yeah. sin against the will of Allah uh, he chose to do the sin which uh, well which this is this is not what him. your prophet said your prophet he says that Allah he made Adam commit sin and Adam and Moses they have a debate Moses he says to Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam, sorry, Musa says to uh, Adam, says to Musa, are you blaming me for something written in my fate, in my destiny, 40 years before Allah, he created me? And this is the hadith, which is very authentic from Al-Bukhari. What say you? Yeah, this is this is saying something totally different now. This is the opposite of what we've seen in the as for the destiny. This is the Bukhari. Are you going to tell me now this is written by the the enemy of Allah too? So Moses and uh, Moses and Adam are arguing here, and Moses is telling Adam that you are the father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Hmm. And Adam said to him, "Oh Moses." Allah favored you and he talked to you and he gave you the Torah and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hand. Do you blame me for an action which Allah has written in my faith 40 years before my creation? Hmm. So, so you mean to say that uh, 
um, Allah has already decided this, that uh, Adam will commit sin. Yeah, this is uh, this uh, this is what destiny. You don't do sin. It's Allah this decision. All the sin we do according to Islam, it's a predestiny, and we have to do the predestiny. And this is as you see, Al Bukhari. Are you going to say now this is written by the enemy of Allah too? This is hard to believe. It's hard to believe. It's stupid. How actually, can it be? How can... it's stupid because How simply can it be like this? because simply, if this is a true, then why Allah He want to kick Adam from heaven, and why we are out of heaven, and why we will punish to go to hell, if all our sin it was a predestiny anyway. There's a video. But why does the prophet Mufti Mink. That three listen, times. listen. Did you watch the video of Mufti Mink? Mean. About this regarding thing. about this thing, you can search it and watch it. He said, "Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, I've seen that one." Okay, yeah. so a, a guy who is a thief, he been taken to the caliphate, and Correct. the caliphate he says, "Today I'm going to punish you for what you did." So the thief he says, yes. "Why you want to punish me for something predestiny for me to do? <clears throat> What's my fault?" The caliphate and Muslim Mink he says, "By the way, this is a good argument," which means he agree with it. The caliphate, he said to him, well, and he said the caliphate will outsmart him. He says, well, it was a predestiny to me now to, to punish you. So everything we do is a predestiny. You steal, it's a predestiny. I predestiny for me to punish you. So Islam is a stupid religion. So why we will go to heaven or to hell if it's all is a predestiny? The one who will go to heaven is a predestiny. The one who will go to hell is a predestiny. So you believe, you don't believe, it doesn't matter. It's a predestiny. My friend, you believe in a fraud. This is a sick, stupid religion. And can you believe it that Moses is a prophet of God? And then this is after supposedly they, they went to heaven, according to Muhammad. And now they are arguing. So Moses, he spent his life. We do not know what destiny is. And now Adam is getting him busted. And then the Muslim, they say that Moses was a Muslim. How he was a Muslim, he believed in the original sin. Original sin is, as a Christian, we believe that because of Adam's sin, we are out of heaven. And because of our sin too. So Moses here looked like he's a Christian more than the Muslims. Because he believed yeah, but, in the original but, sin. But, but uh, Stevie, we also believe one thing in the, in, in, as Muslims, we believe one thing also, that if, if there is a hadith, and if it is having a supporting evidence in the Quran, that's when we take that hadith False. Seriously, this know? is a false argument so, uh, because the hadith says you don't do muta. Is it? No. The hadith says don't do muta. The Quran says you do muta. Which one you take? We have to take the Quran. But you take the hadith. Aren't you a Muslim Sunni? Yes. Okay, Muslim Sunni don't allow muta no more because they say in the hadith the Prophet he forbid it. Because it's obligated, it's ab abrogated, no? No, show me the verse in the Quran says it's abrogated. Go ahead. Ah, there's no verse in the Quran again. You ah, so you take the hadith, hadith over the Quran then. <laughs> you are just fooling yourself, my friend. I, you know, I like you, you're a nice man, but you are just trying to defend with, with no defense. You're just saying eh, anything uh, because it, either you take the Quran or you take the hadith, and everything in the hadith contradicts the Quran anyway because Muhammad is your God, it's not the Quran. Yeah, this doesn't make uh, 